So here's the deal. I bought a Wi-Fi aerial, and uh, which I can show you actually, which is this here, which is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, Yagi. Uh, it's uh, like 20 quid. It's a Wi-Fi specific aerial, and I've been trying to get it to work. And although I can get good receive on it, I can't get a good TX on it, and I'm not getting a really good network speed. And I think it's because of the distance away from the route that I'm at. Now I can't seem to get it working in the caravan. Uh, so radical measures, I will take the Wi-Fi to Mohammed. Uh, no, I am literally um, just trying a whole different setup here, which I'll explain. So I'm in the car, I've got the Wi-Fi aerial. Follow that down, it goes to the back, goes to this AC1200 uh, aerial, which I probably should have up in the dashboard with the aerial. As you can see on the right hand side for, I believe, the TX, I have one of the original standard stock aerials that came with the um, this USB Mac uh, adapter, which is an AC series uh, Wi-Fi adapter, the 1200, AC 1200. And then on the left hand side, I've got um, the aerial, the Wi-Fi aerial that I'm running in the back there. So you've got RX uh, receive on this, which obviously this aerial pulls in the signal. And I believe that's TX. I'm, I'm trying to get an adapter so that I can feed this aerial into both sides, TX and RX. I'm not sure, even sure if you can do that. But then I'm going a bit hardcore then because I've got in the cigarette like socket a 300 watt inverter, which is powering my Mac. <laughs> I don't have a laptop. I have an iMac. So at the moment I'm getting various signals coming in. But uh, I know these desktops are quite... Um, they're quite energy efficient. I think they're only like 20 watts on full ma on full whack. I could be wrong. It could be more than that. But it's nowhere near 300 watts. So I am going to try moving down and around the site and see if I can get a better signal. So we've come right close up and I'm getting a link speed of 300 megabits. Signal strength has dropped down to 40%. Now, I'm not sure if that's picking it up off the other aerial. So I'm going to take the other aerial off. Let's see what happens. Signal strength. Uh, it seems to flick between 54 uh, and it's gone. So that's definitely my RX side, uh, my TX side, my transmit side. And the closer I get to this, um, it did a different channel acquisition. I'll put that back on. Um, let's see if we can do a quick scan. Available networks again. Come up, link status. Just give it a couple of seconds to get back on. I'm going to back up and I'm going to go another place and see what we get. What is interesting here is that I do get a channel 36, which I think is 5 gigahertz. So the closer I am, the, the more I've got a chance of getting it. It, it negotiates that 5 uh, gigahertz connection. But I'm not using a 5 gigahertz aerial, I'm using 2.4, so I'm presuming that it's using this aerial. Uh, to negotiate that or at least it's it's picking that up so I, I just need to get that adapter I think and I, I just need to be a little bit closer I think I'm really pushing the boundaries of getting Wi-Fi on that aerial from that distance how ghetto can you get <laughs> portable war driving so at least I know that the aerial as such works and that when I get closer it does connect and it does go at higher bandwidth I kind of wish I'd bought the 5 gigahertz aerial now, uh, even though it was double the price, it was 46 quid instead of 20 quid. It was 36 dBi and getting closer showed me a channel 36. And I think the other aerial, I think they work in a balanced way, but I think the other aerial was picking up uh, 5 gigahertz band. I've actually been able to TX transmit back on because I've tried swapping the cables left and right and it looks like it's a dual band so one aerial is for receive one aerial is for transmit so where do I go from here I'm going to get a connector to double up the aerial input on 2.4 gigahertz so I can loop it around to the other side use one aerial for both inputs and then if that doesn't work I'll probably um, get one of the 5 gigahertz aerials and double up on that and see if I can get a decent 5 gigahertz TX RX and see if the distance causes a problem. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. That's an update. Um, still no fast connectivity over Wi-Fi. 
which debilitates me doing stuff from here at this moment in time because I don't have enough money to do bandwidth upload, be vagrant about bandwidth, so I have to be careful about everything I actually upload. So I have to upload this from public Wi-Fi later on. Uh, yeah, annoying, but a little step further, I guess. It's cleared it out of my mind, so I can now move on to... I was going to get the aerial today, the six-foot pole, but I couldn't go over to Derby to get it, and I think bolting that on would have been a good exercise, but until I get this loop back connector, it's not really going to make an overall difference, I don't think. All right, I will catch up with you soon.